Alrighty, morning all. Just had just had breakfast or leftover brief, leftovers for breakfast, I should say, at uh, just at the beach house there. Um, currently, currently about to hit the road again. Got up, woke up to the sun this morning, of course, because Queensland doesn't have daylight savings like almost every other state in Australia. It's still only what time is it? 6.40 here, and uh, sun well and truly up, <coughs> so about to head off this morning, hopefully I might grab a coffee on the way out, but today we're heading off to the Sunshine Coast, so pretty excited about that, off to the sunny coast, and then hopefully going to stop by and visit uh, the 1770 headlands and Agnes Waters. So uh, that's the goal for today. Probably still another eight hours in the car, if you include the stops, maybe more. Um, yeah, nah, looking forward to it. Um, my, stay, my time here has been in your poo, then short, but short but sweet. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth staying at. Your Poon Beach House, if you get the chance, it's a really, really great accommodation for yeah any budget or backpackers. Really, um, fantastic. I would have loved to stay there another night, really, so I can say. Great vibes, well laid out house, and again, all in all, really, really nice. Staff are great, people there are great. Um, so yeah. Fantastic place to stay. Alright, so now hopefully got everything. And I got my drink bottle this time. So now I'm gonna try and head off. Keys are in the car. Otherwise it would be on. Uh, <coughs> head off this morning. That was an early. Kind of not intentional, but it happened anyway. And uh, yeah, hopefully see see how we go and where we get to. All right. So we've just made it here to Agnes Waters. Uh, just been out, had a look down at the beach. Uh, it was probably a bit too busy for my liking, so we'll keep driving. We'll go up to and visit 1770 Heads and see see what that's like. It's still a bit windy, even though it's morning. Um, I've only got, well, the drone that I have is only a Mini 3 Pro, so it's still pretty light. So it probably can't handle the stronger winds as well as what some of the other models can um, but yeah so I haven't been able to take it up at all this trip yet so hopefully I might be able to somewhere get it up um, but yeah we'll, we'll probably grab a coffee either at Agnes or 1770 either there or on the way back and um, yeah visit 1770 and then we'll continue down and uh, yeah head down I think Bundaberg will be the next major town we go through after this so it went through Rock, Rockhampton this morning, probably left at about 7, fueled up, ready to go, and now I'm almost back down at half the tank again. Um, yeah, clocked over 1500 k's on the trip so far, and we're only 60 k's off my car doing clocking over 200,000 from the odometer, so hopefully I might be able to capture that. If not, no, nah, well, no biggie. Um, but yeah, so we'll go, go have a look. 1770, grab a coffee and then uh, maybe a small bite to eat and then we'll keep going. Might even be able to snag lunch or stop by Harvey Bay or somewhere on the Fraser Coast, that'd be alright. Um, and yeah, we're probably about 500 k's out of Brisbane, roughly, and then uh, yeah, probably not even 600 away from the border. So slowly getting closer, almost halfway, but yeah. Not too long to go now, so we'll go check out 1770. Alright, 
we're here at the 1770 Gatlin Cook lookout. Uh, yeah, just here to look at now. So, sitting in the car park, about to go out. Bit of a walk by the look of it. Um, just up to the headland, and uh, yeah, uh, the views from the car park look amazing already as it is. So, I'm excited to see what it's like up there. Still windy as hell at the moment, needless to say, and no surprise. Um, I think it's going to be like that pretty much for the rest of the way down the coast. So, see how we go with the drone. But, yeah, I'll still get some good shots with the camera, hopefully, and I'll be able to show you 1770 in the, the bay and all its glory. I think by the look of it, we might be going up to the top of the back hill there at the moment and look out all that there. Yep. There we go. Oh, hold on to your hats. Definitely not bring the best shoes to this. Apparently just assuming I'm going the right way, so it's starting to go downhill now though, but all part of the fun. There you go, there's a couple more signs up here, so I don't think we're too far off the head. And way up, the view is sensational. Unreal. Fantastic. Alright guys, apparently there's some dolphins out as well. As well. Hopefully I'll check them. See what they say. You remember I asked you to meet in the middle. Now I'm here all alone again. You remember I called you. You were talking in riddles. Now you're lying to me again. You think I'm going. Carry a phone and camera bag all the same time. But there's an absolutely magnificent view, view from over here. Try to go a bit higher. There's this big thing here, I have no idea what that is. Looks like some sort of satellite or something. And here we are. There's a park here. Oh, someone's died. Um, yeah, definitely one of the most safest of places to go, but gotta risk it to get the biscuit and how is that view amazing unreal windy as hell as to be expected but this is a 1770 headland alrighty guys made it down to the lower vantage point um, we can kind of get a better view of the dolphins way 
worry about how much camera I've got left in the camera. I'm not sure I've got left in the camera. But I'm getting nice and close up. As close as I can get, it looks like about three or four of them, at least by the look of it. So, um, yeah, really great. So I'm just going to start making my way back now. Two reasons. One is we've still got quite a fair way to drive still for today. And two, my camera is about to go flat and zoom on the uh, iPhone is not super great. So I figured keep going. Grab a coffee for the road and maybe something small more to eat. And uh, yeah, keep going on the road trip. Alrighty, so that's the headland done. I would have loved to have got the drone up there even more. But yeah, the blues and the water, just the sands. It's really amazing. It's, it's, well, big, big comparison, but it's all, it's very similar to hill and land in a way that, you know, you've got a few sandbars that pop up, pop up and move around a lot. Uh, I was lucky enough to see a couple of dolphins in there. Um, that was amazing. Tried to get a few shots of those when they popped up out of the water on the camera, to get the bigger zoom. The only thing I could top that off would be to see a whale at Harvey Bay. That and fingers crossed that that would very well happen today, later today when we get there. But uh, a bit worried that my camera might go flat. It's the biggest biggest thing I have at the moment. The GoPro's out of action, so I can't use that for anything. The uh, the, the zoom and the quality of the iPhone camera is not great either. But I'm hoping that. My 90D will last at least till tonight where I can charge it when I get there. I didn't charge it last night, didn't realise how fun it actually was, but we've uh, we've been getting a lot of con lot of lot of shots and footage over the last few days on it, so it, I, I really should have checked it last night. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll keep keep driving. I'll grab myself a coffee and maybe something to eat. And uh, yeah, we'll knuckle down and head down to the Fraser Coast, I reckon, is the next. So looking forward to that. That'd be great. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Grab my coffee and then we're out of here. Alright, just stopped by the cafe on the way out of 1770 and I uh, was just originally going to get a coffee but apparently the uh, the best vanilla slice from 2018 to 2021 is sold there so apparently they must make that, they won that so it'd be rude to refuse an offer that good. See what the hops lives up to its name, lives up to its title. So uh, yeah, I just got one of those. Feel to treat myself a little bit because you know I've been working, doing so much hard work last couple of days. Um, and yeah, got a coffee, and we are about to hit the road and hopefully get probably Harvey Bay at least before the next stop would be nice. So go through Bundaberg. Probably have to skip out on the rum. The rum? Yes, the rum is gone. Oh, that's what. But um, yeah, about another four hours, four hours, four and a half hours, roughly, I think, maybe five, around up to five, why not, probably bloody road works along the way anyway, so we'll be right to go, and um, yeah, let's head off.
well, thank God that wasn't flooded. Otherwise, it was uh, going to be a long way around back the other way. So, yes, let's go. Just about to pass. Pretty much going, taking the bypass route around Bundaberg at the moment, so we're not actually going through it. But we are almost back on another highway. So I've been taking a few back roads the last couple of, for the last hour. Take a few back roads and, uh, yeah, splicing it up a bit. Bruce Highway was getting too boring for my liking. So we're about to jump back on another one anyway pretty soon. And then, yeah, hopefully it won't be too far off the coast. Probably another three hours to the sunny coast. Uh, yeah, looking at the map here on my dash, and not too far off at all. Alrighty, after a long day's drive, we finally made it to the destination for the next couple of nights. I'm um, staying here with a friend, and uh, yeah, just chill out here in the Sunshine Coast for a bit. See what it has to offer, just done a drive by of Nooseville and Noosa Heads, Sunshine Beach, Sunrise Beach. It looks really nice on this stretch of coast, I must admit. The weather is still a bit cloudy and the sun's not out, but the water looks right for surfing, if you know how to surf. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna find out if I can do that tomorrow. So in the meantime, we've uh, pretty much clocked over 2,000 k's for the trip already. And I'd probably say we're about halfway through it as well. So it's a couple of milestones and uh, yeah, it's uh, really exciting, so I'm going to try and enjoy the, enjoy the time we've got down here, catch up, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and grab what I can. Footage and whatnot, hopefully I can get the GoPro working if we go out in the water. GoPro is still not working at the moment, which is really frustrating, but see how we, get, see how we go fixing it, so yeah. Finally, mate, almost out of Queensland, got about 100 k's left to go to Brizzy, so less than 200 k's to go to the New South Wales border. I'm pretty happy about that. Feels like I've been driving all up and down Queensland, know it inside out by now, even though I haven't. But yeah, so exciting stuff. Um, yeah, I'll go go in and say hello and hopefully find out where I'm sleeping for the night. Alright, what's up?